Well, after the brutal heat this past weekend, it looks like the rest of this week will be a whole lot different. Yeah, can we get to the weekend, Tammy? Really? Just can fast just, forward. Really? You just want to skip past two more days? <laughs> right. Why not? Come on. It's not Good so luck bad with that. Because in January, you want those two days this back. This is true. This you is true. We should, like, put them on hold. Yes, you should. That. We'll just put a pause button. Hit the pause mm -hmm. button. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. I, it's not going to be that, that bad. Really, guys, come on. Uh, outside <laughs> in Philadelphia, the fountain is going. Look at there's even people sitting there with their feet in the fountain. It's not even that hot out. But today was a little bit on the muggy side. We saw the humidity come back into the area. So maybe the fountain will be something that you want to deal with by tomorrow because tomorrow we are going to see temperatures that are going to be back into the 90s. Uh, 87 in Philadelphia right now, 83 in Allentown. We're looking at 85 in Reading, 86 in Lancaster. If we go down the shore, we are in the upper 70s, and that's because we have a really nice sea breeze which has kicked in, so that's made it very comfortable. But factor in the moisture that has just started pushing into the area. Look at this. It feels like 92 in Philadelphia. We're talking about the dreaded heat index again. Feels like 84 in Allentown and 88 in Millville. So for the remainder of the evening, we're going to be dropping down to 85 at 7. We're going to be seeing oh, about 80 at midnight with some sprinkles out there, the possibility of a shower. And about 3 o'clock in the morning, 79. You'll wake up to 75 tomorrow morning. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds. So, what's next? Okay, the humidity returns. We already told you that. The heat returns. We already told you that. Thunderstorms are going to return. We could see some strong, possibly a few severe ones on Friday. And then this is the one that Jess wanted the beautiful weekend. She'd like just to skip ahead to that. All right, we do have some clouds with Storm Scan 3. We've seen some sprinkles trying to make their way into the area, not having the best of luck, though. Off to the west, uh, we have several disturbances, and then we have some clearing off to the west. We have some high pressure that wants to make its way in here for the weekend. So we have a warm front that lifted through the area. That brought us in that warmth and humidity, and it'll heat us up to the 90s tomorrow. This little disturbance is going to sail through. Could bring us a shower or two late tonight and tomorrow. It's that cold front that's making its way through the Great Lakes area. That's the one that is going to bring us possibly a few stronger severe storms on Friday. So here we go. Uh, overnight, we're going to be looking at maybe a sprinkle out there. Not a real big deal. These are very widely scattered. We go into tomorrow morning. We see this mix of sun and clouds. Things aren't half bad. We're going to go into tomorrow afternoon. Maybe again, a spotty shower, perhaps a thunderstorm out there. We get into tomorrow evening. I think mainly north and west of the city will see it starting. It'll a little through Philadelphia, maybe between six and eight, and then it's gone. Now, Friday's the day to watch. Friday, there's a cold front approaching. So, 10 30 in the morning, maybe a spotty shower, but we're going to be watching for a line to form at five o'clock. Still, some widely scattered showers, and then we get a little line. Some of the storms on this line could be gusty and marginally severe, just the very lowest end. And then things quickly start to clear out. Saturday, maybe a brief shower down the shore early in the morning, and then sunshine returns. This is our severe outlook for Friday. It is on the lowest end. It's a one out of five. Widely scattered storms, possibly a few turns severe, 60 mile an hour wind gusts, and a brief downpour. That is the threat we have to deal with, if it happens at all, on Friday. 93 tomorrow in Philadelphia, 90 down the shore, and 83 in the Poconos. Best chance of a thunderstorm tomorrow will be in the Poconos. We're looking at 86. I put the little alert on just in case for Friday afternoon with those storms coming through. And then there's the weekend. This is what Jess wanted 88. And 88. Eight is a good number for the weekend. Lots of sunshine. Beautiful weekend before showers come back Monday night. Guys? Appreciate it, Tammy. Thank you.